HMD Global has finally revived the PureView branding with the Nokia 9. And no surprises, it's got a huge focus on the cameras. So what's special here? Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech and let's get started. If you do end up liking this video, please don't forget to turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. So you can see seven circles to the back of the Nokia 9. The arrangement kind of reminds me of the compound eyes you see in spiders in the art. Anyway, creepy crawlies aside, you have five cameras here, one time of light sensor and a flash. Now, these aren't all different cameras like we've seen in the Mate 20 Pro or more recently the Galaxy S10 series. Instead, we have the same 12 megapixel sensors with f1.8 lenses on all five cameras. Now, two of them are your regular RGB sensors, while the other three are monochrome sensors. Nokia says they are using a combined image taken from all five sensors to create images that have never before seen levels of dynamic range and adjustable bokeh. So how true is that? Well, that remains to be seen, but what we do know right now is that the photos can be edited in post using Google G Depth from inside the Photos app. HMD says that the Nokia 9 can capture 1200 layers of depth data as compared to 10 or less on other phones. So what does that mean for you and me? Well, in theory, you should be able to tap on pretty much any part of the image and have the focus shift to that. Now, bokeh manipulation isn't the only trick that the Nokia 9 has up its sleeve. It can also capture raw images that incorporate data from multiple cameras to end up with a raw file that is around 30 megabytes. And so that you can edit these photos on the go, Nokia has worked with Adobe and there are special Nokia 9 lens profiles inside Lightroom Mobile. So it can do better HDR, has some great depth sensing and can take some dope looking black and white shots. So what else is there with the Nokia 9? Now the Nokia 9 is expected to fare well under low light too. Nokia already have the tech where they are using shots from five cameras, sometimes even multiple ones from the same camera to stitch together one shot. So there's a lot of detail. And then you have the fact that the Nokia 9 captures up to 12.4 stops of light. Then there are the monochrome sensors. Since they have no bay or filter, they allow a lot of light in which in dimly lit conditions should translate to better details at less noise. Now I'm quite excited to test this one out, uh, but enough about the cameras. Let's talk about the rest of the phone because it is a phone, right? Now it's flagship specs are almost all around. It's the Snapdragon 845, six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of onboard storage, no micro SD, now, despite the fact that the 845 is about a year old now, it should fare pretty well, especially when paired with that stockish Android One UI. Coming to the screen, we have a curved 1440p POLED panel in here, and there's also an in-display fingerprint scanner. Above the 5.99 inch display, we have a 20 megapixel selfie camera. Design-wise, we get a glass sandwich build with curved edges to the sides, but there are pretty chunky bezels left both up top and towards the bottom. Now that's not to say this isn't a good looking phone, it absolutely is, it just doesn't feel like a flagship for 2019. Anyway, wrapping up the specs portion, we have a 3320 mAh battery with support for quick charge as well as wireless charging. No headphone jack, but it kind of redeems itself with IP67 certification. As for price, the Nokia 9 retails for about 699 US dollars, that's about 50,000 rupees. Now for a lot of us who remember, it was the same price that HMD Global launched the Nokia 8 Sirocco last year. And that too had a last gen chip. So basically here, if you're someone who cares a lot about manual photography, depth effects or HDR, you know, it might be a very interesting proposition to you. So can it continue to do the PureView legacy proud? Well, HMD Global has partnered up with some big names in the camera industry for this one. New ones like Light of the L16 camera frame has worked with them on the five sensor array. Well, we have Carl Zeiss branded lenses on top of them. So I'm hopeful that in the end, the Nokia 9 PureView will give us something unique, if not jaw dropping to kick off 2019. So that's the Nokia 9 Pure View. Now, I wanna know what you guys think about it. What do you think about the five cameras? Do you think they are overkill? Do you think they should have gone with something a little more traditional, like an ultra wide or telephoto sensor instead? Or do you think this is a nice departure from the regular old implementations that we are seeing with every brand these days? Let me know in the comments below. Share this video with friends and family if you can. Thumbs up, thumbs down, bell based on whatever you felt about it. Subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. 
Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech, and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.